Baby, baby. It's the top flight Maverick. Shout out to being that mafioso, the done daughter, a.k.a. Shot at Alien twice, a.k.a. Survive Mars, a.k.a. Came from um, Sirius uh, Constellation AB, a.k.a. Helped build the pyramids, man. We got, um, man, we got this game I'm excited for, which is Star Citizen. But, you know, Bethesda and how they do, they know that everybody can't get, they know that everybody can't get a 3070 and 32 gigabytes of RAM and $4,000 just to shove into a computer. So we got another one that's created confusion called Starfield. And it's more like a single player game. It's more like along the lines of Fallout and Elder Scrolls, if you've ever played those. Because um, some people haven't, amazingly enough. And I think Star Citizen is 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 um, groundbreaking. I think it's pushing a barrier. It's innovative. And I think Starfield is more along the lines of No Man's Sky. But the confusion is that the the um the um popularity that star citizen get you mix it up with this game called starfield and and um, uh, the the average person is not going to be able to know the difference it's like you know tomatoes and tomatoes so from what i know about star citizen it's way more in depth it's way more realistic uh it's online multiplayer uh it's just a hard game to run. It's not a game that you can just plug into the, I mean, put into the Xbox, download to the Xbox, PlayStation, and just run it. But for the PC gamers, it's just, it's just a, a good game you can get if you got a super strong PC. Starfield, um, Starfield, it's, it's along the same lines, but it's not massively multiplayer, if I'm correct. <laughs> I'm not sure how many ships they got. I'm not sure how in depth the game gets, but I know Bethesda makes awesome games. Like you're in complete control every step of the way. Okay. It's gonna be more like a fallout if you we ask me. If the world wasn't destroyed and they wonder. managed to make it to the future. A freedom to experience and the graphics look great. Exciting planets. I mean, the the difference is minuscule if you can really tell. Star Citizen, they really have the massively multiplayer online space mission where you're in the um, firmament. Firmament. You know, you got a bunch of planets you can go to, a bunch of activities you can do, and it's still in development. Starfield is going to be a one and done, I believe. And the fact that you have a... The, the only thing with Starfield, the fact that you'll have a massive world but you're just by yourself, it's gonna feel super empty and super lonely. It's gonna feel super empty, super lonely, like Star Citizen, look at this view, that's super awesome. You know, the ship and everything. I don't, I don't think Starfield's gonna come close to what Star Citizen is gonna be in the long run, but I mean, Star Citizen is not for the average gamer. It's not for the console gamers, and that's gonna extremely limit what Star Citizen can do. Cause Starfield, if you ask me, looks the exact same. It's just in a more condensed version to where everybody can play it, and not just those with a a a, a three thousand dollar or it used to be three thousand dollar graphics card. It's probably like two thousand dollars now. You probably can find it for about seventeen hundred on eBay or something like that. <laughs> But then even then, you still need to play Star Citizen in the i7. It's recommended that you get an i7 CPU. So, Star Citizen is like a luxury. Starfield is going to be what people remember because more people can get to this game. I mean, because if you ask me, I can't, I can't tell much of a difference. I mean, that is a difference. That looks super awesome. That looks super awesome. You know? Of course I would rather play Star Citizen, but more likely I'm gonna have to play Starfield. Cause I mean, don't get me wrong. If it, if the shootouts are like Fallout, the combat is like Elder Scrolls. I mean, I believe Bethesda is making this game, if I remember correct. This is still gonna be an amazing game. And Bethesda doesn't miss a lot. I mean, that looks dope. Don't get me wrong. Oh, that's Starfield. I don't know, man. Star Citizen looks amazing. And, it, and of course, it's going to be more playability because it's going to be constantly expanding. They could do the same with Starfield, but who knows? 
Okay. Oh, that looks awesome. That looks dope. Star Citizen, of course, is going to have way more immersive uh, interiors and stuff like that. But to play the game, is it, it, we, we going to be able to see the game in its full glory unless we update our uh, computer? It's just not, it's not feasible yet, if you ask me. It's not feasible yet. This is not the space. Starfield is gonna like don't lie, that that space right there looks like the first city you get to in Fallout 3. That looks almost exactly like Megaton, I think that's what it's called. I mean, let's be real, Starfield's gonna have a one up. They could just reuse the um cause this looks like Fallout except for futuristic and no nuclear waste. So I mean yeah, they got the one up on that. This looks just like Megaton. Is it called Megaton? Come on, bro. That looks just like Megaton. The capital of the Free Star Collective is Aquila City. The Stone Root Inn is an Aquila City fiction. They're going to they gonna be able to have it. They'll have it to where everybody can use it because this looks like Fallout, just futuristic. It, it just, come on, man. If that isn't the ship that you get to Fallout 3 in, just just with better with better graphics i don't know what to tell you this looks exactly like the uh what is a ship city in fallout because i want to say it right because this is exactly what that looks like and and they just gonna repackage it and build off of the momentum that star citizen is doing platform which is now known throughout the cells Yeah, man. Slice of humanity's future. I mean, they're smarter with it, you know. Um, exactly one year. I think they're gonna be smarter than it, smarter than Star Citizen. Star Citizen is giving the hardcore gamer what he wants the most best game they can possibly make, and it's taken a while. Starfield is going to give people who can't get Star Citizen, which is a lot, what they want. And it's going to be uh, it's gonna be more people who can access Starfield, you know? So I, I'll, I'm definitely going to get Starfield, and then when I can, I'll get Star Citizen. But let y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike, transcribe, describe. Do what you do, man. It's... um. Will Smith from Men in Black signing out, you know, peace.